everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. Come and eat. The next question we want to ask is, should we keep the biblical feasts outside the land of Israel? It's interesting to me how many times I encounter people who are coming back to the more Hebraic roots of their faith and learning about the Torah and discovering the Torah and discovering the feasts and the Sabbaths and the other things in the, in the Torah. And then suddenly they hit a bump in the road and they, they come up with this idea that the feasts have to be kept in the land of Israel. You cannot keep them outside of the land of Israel. Quite frankly, in my experience, most of those people that say that are the ones who really don't want to keep the feasts. And now it may be because it's inconvenient, it may be because they can't get time off of their jobs, or they have to shut their businesses down, or whatever, and it's inconvenient. Well, this is not a reason not to keep the feasts, because it's inconvenient. There's a lot of things that Yovah commands us to do that are inconvenient, and yet we have to conform our lives to obedience to His Scriptures. To not do that is to create a God in our own image. That's called idolatry. To not do that is to seek other things ahead of Yehovah's kingdom and His righteousness. To not to do that is to conform the word of Elohim to our, to our image, as Adam and Eve did at the Garden of Eden, that when they listened to the lies of the devil. To not do that is to question whether Yehovah has really said something and commanded us to do it or not. To do that, that is, to not obey Him, is to have a holy Bible, a Bible with holes in it, Swiss cheese version. To pick and choose. And we don't want to go there. Because Yehovah said, do not add from my word and do not subtract from my word. When we do, we will bring plagues and judgments upon us. Because we are setting ourselves up as people who are showing that we do not love his word and do not love his Torah. Uh, we are proving what Paul says about the carnal man in Romans 8, 7, that the carnal mind is at enmity or at odds against Jehovah, his, uh, his law, his Torah, is not subject to it, neither indeed can be. That is a, a trait of a, of a carnal man, a man who resorts to his own carnal reasonings to try to find a way around doing what Jehovah has commanded us to do. So, um, the question is, should we keep the biblical feasts outside the land of Israel? And I'd like to make several points from the Bible, which I believe clearly shows that the feasts are to be kept wherever you are at, and keep them the best you can. First of all, Genesis 1.14, we see that the word seasons, let me turn there real fast, Genesis 1.14, in the creation account, it says that, Then Elohim said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for stars and for years. So we see that the sun and the moon uh, were set up there, and, and the stars to a lesser degree, but mostly the sun and the moon, to regulate the biblical calendar. And the word seasons there is the word uh, moadim, which uh, it means... Um, it, which is uh, appointed times, and it's specifically referring to referring to the um, uh, the biblical feasts. It's another term for biblical feasts. We we see then in um, uh, as we read earlier in this study, Leviticus twenty three verse two it says, "The feasts of the Lord which you shall proclaim to be holy convocations; these are my feasts." The word feast there is moedim or seasons. So, uh, again, we see a reference to the feasts in, Levitic in Genesis 1.14. And so, they are outside of and before there was any land of Israel or promised land. That's 
They are the foundation. They, are, they existed before the foundation of the world or at the creation, at the moment the world was being created. Before there were seasons or before the, or at the time of the initiation of the season and before man was created, they are outside of all that, before there were countries or anything else. We also read in Genesis 26, verse 5, it says that, Obey, that uh, Abraham obeyed all of Jehovah's commandments, statutes, and, and laws, his Torahs, his Torah, his instructions and in righteousness, and this would include the biblical feasts. So we believe that uh, Abraham obeyed, the, uh, kept the biblical feasts. We also read in, in the book of Exodus that the children of Israel kept Passover and the Feast of Eleven Bread in Egypt and in the wilderness before coming to the promised land, before entering the promised land. We read this in Exodus 12, 12 verse 13. And if the um, we believe that the Torah was given in Exodus 19 and 20 on the day of uh, uh, Pentecost, the Feast of Pentecost, and if so, they were gathered together at Pentecost to receive his word. They were congregating together. It was a sacred assembly, so they were celebrating the Feast of Pentecost as well. So here is an example of the Israelites <clears throat> keeping some of the feasts while they were outside of the Promised Land. Also, in Leviticus 23, the Sabbath is mentioned at the head of the list as one of the feasts that you have our command or more uh, uh, divine appointments that they are the Israelites were to keep he says in verse 23 of Leviticus 23 six days shall work be done but the seventh day is a Sabbath of rest a Mikra Kodesh a holy convocation you shall do no work on it it is a Sabbath a Shabbat of Yehovah in all your dwellings so this is the if you will the head of the feasts the head, the, the weekly Sabbath. And there's no place that says that the weekly Sabbath has to be, in the Bible, that says the weekly Sabbath has to only be kept in the land of Israel. The Jews have been keeping the Sabbath uh, all over the world for thousands of years. And the Sabbath and the feast days all stand or fall together. If you keep the Sabbath, then the feast days are expected to be kept as well. Um, and it's, they're all listed together here, and vice versa. And they're all listed together here. In Leviticus 23, these are the appointed times of Jehovah, verse 2 of Leviticus 23. So if one is to keep the uh, feasts outside of, or keep the, if one can keep the Sabbath, the weekly seventh-day Sabbath outside the land of Israel, then certainly one should be keeping the, um, uh, the, the, the biblical holidays um, outside the land of Israel as well.
שמהימצות 